my baby call my name, she's the only one. And if I die in rally, at least I will be free. Hi folks, this is Nathan Carter and you're listening to Howard Myers on Irish Country Music Radio. Yeah, Nathan Carter there with, of course, a Wagon Wheel on Irish Country Music Radio, probably uh, Nathan's most famous and biggest hit to date. And Nathan Carter is appearing on Glotira this uh, Wednesday night uh, with um, his protege, shall we say, Neve McGlinchy. And Neve, of course, uh, is the first act on Glotira. They all appeared last Wednesday night. And I'm delighted to say that I have Nathan on the line right now. Nathan, are you there? I am. Good evening, Howard. Good evening, Nathan. Thanks for joining us on this uh, Monday no evening. No problem. No, it's great, great be on the show. Thanks very much indeed. Now, Nathan, I'm going to bore you a bouncer first off, and I don't expect you to know the answer to this one. Can you remember the first time you and I met? It's a very romantic question, I know. Can you remember the first time you and I met? No. Oh, it must be at least three or four years ago now, I'd say. Absolutely right. It was uh, four years ago. It was in uh, Taylor's Three Rock in Dublin. You just literally, I think, got off the boat from Liverpool. And it was one of, I think it was your second gig in Ireland, and you had Georgette Jones uh, guesting with you. And uh, the reason I ask that question is that um, you started off then. I think there were probably about uh, f- 50 or 60 people in the gig. Of course, you're playing now to thousands of people in the Olympia this weekend and other concert gigs. And uh, like every artist you started off somewhere and you had to show your talents and uh, what we're saying about glow is what a marvelous showcase it is for up and coming singers and we've lost him oh dear me we've lost nathan i'm going to put wagon wheel back on and try and get him back straight away I'm delighted to say we have now got uh, Nathan back on the line. Nathan, how are you? Yeah, good evening. We're back again. <laughs> We're back again. The marvels of the marvels of technology. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how much you heard. We were talking about the first time that I saw you um, in concert, well, on the stage with uh, Georgette Jones. It's back in uh, 2010, I think it was, because uh, at the time Danny McDonald had written about you in the Sunday World. Nathan Carter, he said, is a name we're going to be hearing a lot of in the coming years and how right he was. And the point I was making was that uh, Glotira, which is why you're on uh, to talk to me this evening, is a great showcase for up-and-coming talent. It sure is, yeah, and it's, it's something that I've been involved in. Um, this will be my, my second time being involved in, in Glotira, and um, I think it's a big show, and it, it gives, uh, gives the, the audience a chance to... To meet new people and uh, meet, uh, you know, up and coming singers. And uh, the lady we picked this year is, is a young lady called Eve McGlinty. I think, did you just say you just played played one of her songs there, did you? We just played uh, Spell Our Wings yeah. by Neve, yeah. She, she, well, uh, as you can hear, she's a fantastic singer and um, very talented musician. She, she plays a lot of instruments and writes her own songs. And um, yeah, I, I came across Neve uh, about two years ago and I, I heard one of her songs on the radio and... Uh, and instantly thought she was great, you know, and uh, when the opportunity came along this time to pick someone, it, it was a no-brainer. We decided to go straight for Neve, and, and, uh, and I'd say she was up for the challenge and wanted to be involved. There are obviously nine uh, contestants, including Neve. That's nine weeks we've got to look forward to now on uh, TG Car, and as I say, great uh, showcase. The show has come in for some uh, criticism that uh, maybe it's uh, on a voting system, maybe not always the people's choice wins. But I think uh, the answer to that is really any any show like this has to have uh, some sort of a system uh, of selection. But really, I think I say every year this that everybody that appears on the show is a winner because uh, they get the exposure and uh, they um, they get the name known and uh, it's wonderful experience for somebody that may never have actually been on a big stage like that before. Well, this is it, you know, and I suppose Neve is probably um, a bit different in that way that Neve gigs every weekend and would be used to 
probably performing to to uh, to crowds and stuff. But it, it is great exposure, like you say, for the TV, and, and uh, you know, it would introduce it to a new audience who, who would never have seen it before. So you're, uh, as I say, when I met you four years ago, you're playing to a very small crowd, and now you're kind of used to well, used to playing to uh, hundreds, if not thousands, uh, every weekend. You're embarking on a concert tour, are you, over the next few weeks? Yes, uh, well, I, I'm actually, uh, we're starting this Wednesday night. We've been off for the last uh, two weeks, I think it is. So we uh, just had a short break, and we're, we're embarking on a, a concert tour around Ireland and um, and Scotland over the next few months. Um, we're, we're playing uh, Wednesday night in, in Dundalk in, in a hotel called The Characdale. That's the start date. And then um, <clears throat> this weekend coming up, I'm glad to say we're, we're playing for two nights in Dublin in, in the... Uh, the famous Olympia Theatre, which uh, we've played uh, on several occasions now, and um, we always look forward to getting back to it. It's one of the nicest theatres that, that I've ever played, and there's always a great atmosphere. And I'm glad to see that the, the Friday night sold out, and the, there's uh, a few tickets left for the Saturday, which which is uh, is going to be good fun. Yeah, there are, so there are tickets left for this Saturday night in the Olympia. I was there uh, uh, well, last year. Uh, have you still got the same set, or have you changed your set? Did the, the, the old VW is that still? Uh... Uh, yeah, there's a whole whole new set uh, coming in for uh, for the next few months. Um, we, we we try and make it bigger and better every time, you know. So the uh, I'm, I'm sad sad to say the VW uh, camper van uh, image is gone. That we normally use just to put the drums on and everything, but uh, it's been replaced with a whole new set. So. Looking forward to uh, to getting the, to actually seeing it. I haven't seen it yet. Would you believe so? I'm looking forward to getting uh, getting seeing it and, and uh, performing on it. Yeah, we have uh, obviously listeners all across the world. Listeners down in Australia, New Zealand, across in the United States. Have you any plans for maybe tours overseas? Yeah, well, we're we glad to say we're going to um, America for uh, for a week in in May and um, performing in Chicago at the the Irish Festival over there and. Um, and then I'm going to Nashville to, to meet up with uh, some writers and some uh, to try and get some new songs written, uh, which is something I've been doing over the last few months is starting to write my own stuff and, and uh, co-writing with, with some writers, which has been great for me, and I've enjoyed every every minute of it. Um, and uh, So, yeah, we're going to America then, and uh, we've got... Uh, I'm glad to say we've got uh, plans to release an album over in Australia. Uh, hopefully, this coming summer we're going to be looking to release an album over there with uh, with a big record company. So fingers crossed, all being well, it should uh, it should should be released over there. You know, over the next few months. Yeah, Australia seems to be a, a very good market for a lot of Irish um, artists. I can think of people like Tommy Fleming, who, who I know um, has been successful over there now for, for, for many, many years. And uh, we only heard last week, actually, uh, a listener emailed us in last week on the show to say that they'd actually heard the Davids being played in one of the clubs down there in uh, Sydney. So uh, certainly the Irish music is being played down there. And, of course, a huge amount of Irish diaspora have emigrated over in the last uh, couple of years, unfortunately, in some respects. But uh, there's a big Irish fan base, certainly down under it in Australia. Definitely, yeah. You know, it, it's... Uh... And it would it would be great. It would be one of my ambitions to get over there and maybe do a, a tour. You know, to to meet. I mean, it's the amount of people since I've even started our gigging four years ago um, that have left. You know, that would have came to our gigs and they've all left to be over there to get jobs and, and stuff. So it would be it would be great to do a tour eventually. Yeah. Just go go back to Glotera just uh, before we uh, before we let you go. Uh, obviously, it's Wednesday night. Is uh, Neve's turn? She's the first up on uh, on Wednesday. And um, voting lines are open at the moment. Of course, you can uh, you can vote for Neve by voting Glow. Uh, I think it's zero one. Uh, Glow Glow one. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're talking to Neve on uh, Wednesday, actually, just before she goes on the uh, on the show. Uh, maybe oh, could, okay. could you give us a sneak preview, of maybe what she's performing on uh, Wednesday? Uh, well, I think it's one of her own songs, anyway. The chief performing uh, and the duet. We we, we uh, sang is um, from a band called Train, and um, we did our own sort of version of the song. But uh, I haven't actually heard it or seen it, so looking forward to, to getting the, getting a watch on on Wednesday night. You know, brilliant. Looking forward to that. Uh, thanks for joining us, Nathan. Just before you go, uh, put a message in here. Well, the, the emails are actually piling in. I can't. I've got time to mention everyone's name, but just one name I'm going to mention. Gronya Madden says to me, "Could you get Nathan to say a big hello?" to Gronya Madden of who's listening in from she's in 
Carrick Moore in County Tyrone. Uh, she's looking forward to seeing you in the Olympia on Friday night. Hurry up the weekend, says Gronje. <laughs> Nathan, it's been a pleasure to talk to you, as always. I don't see very much of you these days, but uh, every time I do see you, it's always great to meet up with you. And uh, I'll, you'll always have a special place with me, because, as I say, in your very early days, um, I had the privilege of uh, seeing you. And I agree with Daniel O'Donnell at the time. Yeah, he's a young man going places. Yeah. Every success in the future. We're going to play your latest single now. Oh, uh, simple life. Where do, where do we find this one, Nathan? Yeah, this is um, a song that I came across from uh, a Scottish band called Scary Bo, and uh, I've uh, been a big fan of their stuff for the last few years. And uh, this was a song off one of their albums, and um, I, I decided to record it and do my own thing with it. And uh, we filmed a video for it a couple of months back, and uh, <laughs> it's a kind of wacky video, really. You know, I, I'm I'm actually acting in the video uh, as myself and as uh, as as someone else so uh, for people if they haven't seen it you can get it on, on YouTube anyway it's been up for the last few days and uh, it's, the, the, the views are, are coming in thick and fast I'm glad to say so so you can get that on the YouTube but uh, big thank you to, to everyone for writing in as well Howard and thank you to yourself for having me on and I uh, hope everyone, everyone can vote for Neve on uh, on Wednesday night for Grotio. And uh, if, you're, if you're free this weekend, we're in the Olympia. So if you want to come along, there's still a couple of tickets left. It's a great pleasure to have you on, uh, Nathan. And yes, I have seen the video and it is wacky, but it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> it really is. Nathan, continued success into the future. And uh, we're going to play off with uh, Simple Life. Nathan Carter. Thanks very much. Take care. All the best.